Just curious, has anyone taken Allegra D at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night thinking that it was going to be fine? Cause it's not, today's gonna be interesting. Guys, this is always one of my go-tos for Halloween because it's just simple, comfy, easy to throw on. I like that it's like not low cut or anything like that. I just throw a sweater on over it. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we got a sweater, a little more school appropriate. So I got this suit from Black Milk. I don't know if you guys have heard from it. It's an Australian company. They have a lot of really cool stuff. But I got this back in college, so 2014, 15. And this baby is lasted. Love it. Okay, gotta go. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to my classroom. It is the day before, no, it's not. It is two days before Halloween. So the Halloween festivities are among us. I saw so many teachers asking their kiddos what they thought they should be for Halloween and they had the cutest responses. Okay, so this is from Boy Mama Teacher Mama and this was the what should my teacher be for Halloween. And then I put my picture in it and then I put it up on class kick. So I asked my kids, well, let's just, I'll show you. <laughs> So here's our morning work that we've been doing. Monday, I just drew these little kind of squiggles and then told them to finish the drawing. We talked about ideas, about this could be a pumpkin, candy, witch, werewolf, as just Halloween options that they can draw. The next page, would you rather meet a vampire or werewolf and why? And I gave them kind of sentence frames, told them to give me a couple of reasons why they would rather meet one than the other, but to also give me an example of why they would not like to meet the other version and they had to write four sentences. Then what should Miss Blair be for Halloween? And then today I added, what should I be for Halloween? So I realized that with mine, they would only cover my face. Like even though like there's plenty of room to draw a body, they just wouldn't. <laughs> so this one I gave the actual body that way they can draw the whole thing. Oh, look how cute. I like how she used the line just to make a face to draw an elaborate vampire. Slide two, we got to write, we are still working on writing and I don't know why they thought it was a fill in the blank thing cause clearly it doesn't fit in the blanks. Despite how many times I said it's not fill in the blank. Good morning guys. Good morning, how are you guys feeling today? Oh, I see some fives, I see some tens. <laughs> nice. Good morning. Guys, we got two days till Halloween. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, this year's a little different for sure. Yesterday on our morning work, we drew a picture of what I should be for Halloween. And today we're gonna draw a picture of what you should be for Halloween. So go ahead and click on your morning work. So you have a little person here, so you're gonna draw your eyes, you're gonna draw your costume, your hat or your hair, and then tell me, I think I should be a, tell me what you want to be, and then give me three reasons why you want to be that character. And even if it can be one that you just would like to be, not necessarily that you are going to be, if you just would like to be a certain character, go for it. If you don't celebrate Halloween, then you can draw a picture of your favorite book or movie character. Tell me who it is, and then three reasons why you chose that character. Um, draw a picture and then write a sentence what we're gonna be on Halloween. Yes. What? What? When you said when you the three reasons. What about it? Can you explain it again? You're gonna give me three reasons why you want to be that for Halloween. Okay, so then what did I say that you can do instead? You're going to draw your favorite book character. Tell me who it is and three reasons why you picked that book character. I can't hear you. Cause your mic. Babe, you need to get out of bed. Ooh, your Spider-Man looks awesome. Isn't that such a cool Spider-Man? We have a witch, we got Maleficent. Ooh, Mal from Descendants. A great job giving examples of why you chose that character. I choose Spidey. 
<laughs> okay, whiteboard's ready. Hands on your head, hands on your head. We don't want no cheaters. Okay, our next word. Knit. We have our K-N. That K is silent. We only hear the N. Knit. You're not writing hands on your head. Three, two. What? What do you mean you can't see the word? Okay, mute, mute. I can't hear all of you talking at once. You can't see the word. What does it look like? Gotcha. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Okay. Then we'll switch it up. Am I glitching because some of you are looking at me like I'm crazy? And that's a pretty big word, but it doesn't mean that it has to be hard to spell because if we chop it with the syllables wrist watch, it just breaks it down into two words that we can spell. So first we have wrist that has the WR like we're practicing and wrist is already one of our words. So we know how to spell wrist. Now I just need to spell watch. And we're really, we just gotta remember that T-C-H. We have wrist, watch, put it together, wrist, watch. Okay, we are on our first break. As you can probably see the mood, my mood just drastically changes the more the day goes on. This has been a really tough week because Halloween, starting Halloween is like my favorite time. And we just have so many activities going on and dress up days and all that stuff. And just the energy is normally so high. And now with distance learning and no one in the classroom, like we can't do these fun activities. The energy is not there at all. And it's just more depressing than anything. So I feel bad because I feel like I'm not necessarily giving my all to my kids in this time. But at the same time, I am. I'm giving all that I have right now and I just don't have that much. This has been majority of my breaks this week. <laughs> Where a camera's off, I'm muted and I just get this overwhelming whatever this is and then 15 minutes is up and I gotta turn that camera on and go back on and be totally fine. So many teachers out there that are doing the same thing. But the thing is, we don't talk about it. And this is like the biggest act, cause no one knows. Cause we just show up, like everything's fine and still try to make things fun and dress up and stuff like that. But, mm mm. Okay, well, we do have a practice test because we just finished chapter two in math. So we're gonna do our practice test on freckle. Kind of give me an estimate of how we're doing, what exactly I need to go over and review before we take the actual test. I'm always at least a chapter behind in math for some reason. I don't like moving forward if my kids don't get something, especially with math, because it all kind of builds on top of each other. Okay, so we're gonna complete these tables, picture graphs, and bar graphs by collecting data from our class. So we're gonna ask ourselves these questions and we're gonna collect the data and see what's the most popular things. Okay, we're on break number two. I decided not to do the practice test because my kids were just so 
over it and it's really hard when you're already over school at 9 30 in the morning so i decided that this would be more engaging because it's collecting our class data and i feel like it was better i didn't lose as many kids or they were able to kind of get back in quickly because they were just more involved so i don't know the practice test we'll go over it tomorrow we'll we'll figure out we'll figure out something you know i might even just do it after this recess because it is only 10 questions i'm going to read a halloween book to them or we're going to do a storyline online because uh, my library is in shamble jambles um excuse my little breakdown earlier i'm feeling better now it's just kind of that's just kind of how this goes you know the days have just been going in waves and just kind of take it as it comes. Okay, I've been sitting for way too long. I don't know about you guys, but like I'm getting like weird sore spots like right here. So I brought a band. So during class sometimes, I'll straight up like put this around. I'm going to actually do a couple band walks and kicks that way my legs can kind of wake up and then I'll heat up my lunch and then be back by 12.30 to finish my intervention. Welcome back to my classroom. It is October 30th. That means tomorrow's Halloween and that means we are celebrating. So I got my spooky witch hat and my witch outfit. Pretty much got a lot of black that I had in my closet. Turned into a witch. I'm getting ready to log on with my kids. I'm going to start off the day with a storyline online Halloween thing because look, we just need to have some fun today. Okay, we've, we've been doing a lot of stuff. We need to have some fun. Also, I just don't have the time to look up for another Halloween worksheet. So, we're gonna stick with the storyline online. I'm gonna set you down and get started. Good morning. <gasps> you look awesome. Ooh, I like your little headband. You look terrifying. Good morning, guys. Yeah! We're like witch sisters. Oh, you and when the scary. Are you a, a ghoul witch? A stylish monster? Like Jeepers Creepers? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have a guest. Miss Taylor's coming in. Love your ladybug. All right, guys, you guys look awesome. So remember, you guys can wear a costume, you can wear a crazy mismatch outfit, you can wear your pajamas, whatever you feel like. You look awesome too. I like your makeup. Hello, everyone. You have some fantastic costumes on. Before I begin, hold on, I want to show you. We get scared about things and then we laugh about it when we're One of my kids just came online. He's in a T-Rex costume. <laughs> and his nose is pushed up against the screen like this. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Bye, All right. So, um, I know I had trouble hearing the story. Raise your hand if you couldn't hear it. Okay, I appreciate you guys working with what we got. I love your guys' costumes. I love that you guys are as dedicated as I am because me and Miss Brown are the only ones that really dressed up. Oh, Miss Amanda, the librarian, she dressed up too. As far as the teachers, pretty much just me and Miss Brown. So I love that you guys dressed up.
Okay, I'm going to reread that story relatively quick. Oh shoot, does anyone remember what the story was called? The best eyes, I think so, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna play the video as far as the pictures go, but I'm gonna read it. The Ghost Eye Tree by Bill Martin Jr. One dark and windy autumn night when the sun had long gone down. Woo! The halfway tree, the ghost eye tree, shook its arms and reached for me. Did it really shake its arms and reach out for those kids? No, it's a tree. <laughs> to look tough, like Mike Barber. I'm tough, I said to myself, real tough. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Okay, we're gonna practice our spelling words. We're gonna take our spelling test. Then we're gonna get up, we'll do some, some jumping around, get moving a little bit, and then we'll come back and read our story, Vote and then take that test and then do some more moving around and whatnot. And then hopefully we can go into some of the Halloween fun stuff. Sounds good? Okay, so if WR makes the er sound, we have er, ists. And remember plural, not one wrist, two wrists. Hands on your head so I know you're ready and uh, cheating. It's W-R-I-S-T-S. -S. have a couple cheaters in our class. All right. <laughs> nice of you to join us. All right, so Canvas, click on modules, and it's the first one at the top. When you're done with your spelling, Go ahead and listen to the story, vote, right under it, okay? When you're done with your spelling test, what are you gonna do? No. When you're done with your spelling test, you're gonna go and watch, like listen to the story, vote. So what are you gonna do? First the story, vote. Thank you. Okay, click that first one. Go ahead, get started, guys. It's recess, so just... Casual, okay, well now I gotta get an answer that, so. <laughs> Hello? Can you I can't tell you. Well, we are done with that test and workshop. Let's stand up. Let's show off our costumes, move around a little bit. Could also, if you don't celebrate Halloween, you're totally cool showing off your comfy pajamas, whatever crazy outfit you put together, all of that. So, camera's on, stand up. Oh my gosh! I got some witches, some vampires, I got a puppet, I got a ladybug. Awesome, do a twirl, do a shake. Ooh, I got Frozen, I got a Dark Angel, I got a Jeepers Creepers. I'm looking for, where? Yeah, T-Rex. <laughs> Love it. You guys are awesome. to do a spooky kahoot then we're gonna do a flip grid where we can show off our costumes and we can watch each other then if we have time we're going to do a spooky would you rather okay all right so first yeah, yeah. babe you got a green face of makeup that is your costume. I like your move, Sochi. It's okay if you don't have a full-on costume. 
This is just a hat. All of this stuff is clothes I just have. These are workout leggings and shoes. This is a shirt thing. This is another shirt. And this is my brother's vest. I didn't go out and buy a costume. This is my mom's hat. It's just all about dressing up, being a little silly. You're wearing a Lakers shirt. You're a basketball player, man. This is a Halloween would you rather. Would you rather eat red is Skittles, yellow is Snickers, blue is M&Ms, and green is Kit Kats. Would you rather go red is a haunted house, blue is on a haunted trail. Ooh, kind of like the ghost eye tree story that we read this morning. Ooh, most say haunted house. Would you rather watch the red, Nightmare Before Christmas, or blue, Coco? Most of you say Nightmare Before Christmas, I'm surprised. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Would you rather go red, trick or treating, yellow, Six Flags, Fright Fest, or blue, to a Halloween party? Oh, most of you would rather go to a Halloween party only three want to go trick-or-treating? I want to go trick-or-treating. You guys are crazy. Six Flags Fright Fest. Ooh, I've been there once. That was scary. Guys, you got to stay on mute. I can't hear you guys. Would you rather be, ooh, red, a zombie, or blue, a monster? Oh, most of you said a monster. We are going to now go on to our flip grid and show off our costumes. You're just showing off what you're wearing. Go put on some crazy pajamas, some fun pajamas, and show us what you got. Here it is, our dress up costume show. It says, do a twirl. Show us your Halloween costume, crazy outfit or cozy pajamas. Describe your costume or outfit or PJs. Tell us why you decided to wear that today. If you're not sure how to start, you can say, I decided to dress up as, or I decided to wear, hmm, because, hmm, and hmm. Give me two reasons. I can't wait to see your stylish outfits. Don't forget to check out all your friends' outfits and give their video a like. And happy fall, y'all. Go ahead and click the red record a response whenever you are ready. Okay, so I'm gonna make a video to show you guys how to kind of do it, so I need you guys on mute. I decided to be a witch because most of you guys voted that I should be a witch on our last morning work worksheet. So I have black leggings, I have my flowy little dress, and my witch hat. It's also in the chat, and if I see you're struggling, I'll send it to you on Go Guardian. Okay, go ahead, make your book your videos. I can't wait to see. I need you guys on mute. I'm your monkey tiny Guys, we need to use the chat because people are making videos. Oh my gosh, I love their little costumes. <laughs> I picked this costume because it's Halloween. I don't have any more, so this is the only one that fits me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Oh, the T Rex. Hi, my name is. And I picked a dinosaur to do for Halloween because I like this because I watch YouTubers who be like this. This is funny and this is cool. And uh, this is a face. And I'm inside of it. Okay, guess what I am? I have strings made of wood and I have some ponytails. What am I? Those are the craziest, coolest karate moves I've seen ever. <laughs> the kid just walked in a circle. I don't know what that was. Okay. 13, so half my kids have responded. Oh, they're so cute.
love it. Okay, I have unlocked comments. So you may comment by typing, you can comment by video, and I have opened the chat on Zoom. So go ahead, comment on your people's videos. Make sure that we are kind and respectful. I am loving your guys' costumes so much. So then now I get to respond back to my kiddos' videos in their comments with another video. So since I can't necessarily have them all up and showing their costume at once because a lot of their mics don't work and the internet's just terrible, I get to respond this way. And so we still get that same interaction. And the kids can actually make videos to comment on each other's videos. Most of them just type, uh, but yeah, Juan Pedro. Those are the coolest moves I think I've ever seen. You need to be a karate master. That's what you are for Halloween. <laughs> Your costume has me dying laughing. It is so funny, it's perfect. I love that we can still see your little face in it. You definitely need to bust out some dance moves. Love it, Dark Angel is such a cool idea. I love the black wings and the black halo on top, perfect. Another witch sister. I love it, you look great. I love that you were dedicated enough to paint your whole face green. I wish I had time to do that this morning because you just look awesome. All right, well, our time is up, my friends. You guys did awesome today. Be safe tonight for Halloween. Okay, if you're wearing all black, you have to be especially careful because it's really dark outside. Okay, make sure you have, make sure your little uh, candy bucket or something is really bright colored. Be safe. If you're going to your church class tonight, I hope you guys have a lot of fun. So whatever you decide to do tonight, be safe, be smart, and have a blast. Eat some candy for me. Bye guys. Bye, have an awesome Halloween weekend. They're so sweet. Okay, today was actually a really good day and that is rare that you hear those words come out of my mouth, but it was super fun. Oh, and what my kiddos? Happy Halloween. Hope you have a great weekend. I also like your video. Bye. See you on Monday, Miss Blair. It's the little things. It really is. All right, my witches. It is Friday. It is 2.30. I'm out of here. Actually, let's be real. It's a little late that's 2.45. But point being, I'm out of here. So thank you for watching my day in the life of a third grade teacher. Distance learning. Hopefully this is the last distance learning vlog that I have to do because I'm not a fan. And by November 16th, we should be hybrid. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, that's my party dance. My hands are full, so that's, that's all we can work with right now. All right, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.